Hey everyone, just a quick FYI update. Serato Scratch Live version 2.3 is now out and available for you to download and try out. 2.3 is mainly just a maintenance release, but there are a couple new features worth mentioning. Uh, first and foremost are cue point names and labels. Now, it seems forever now, people have wanted to be able to name their cue points or put little labels by them instead of just having the timestamp. Uh, well, now you just double click any of the timestamps and you'll get a little pop up box and you can type in uh, whatever you want for the cue points name or label. I've already done mine in advance, so uh, here we go. This is their cue point names and labels. And if you hold your control or command key down uh, and click any of the time, uh, that will toggle between the time mode and the cue point name and label mode. So cue point names or labels uh, in Scratch Live 2.3. Also now in 2.3 comes native HID HID support for the Pioneer CDJ350 and the 850. Uh, so this completes the new Pioneer model CDJ range for uh, native HID support in Scratch Live. So the CDJ2000, the 900, the 850, and the 350 now are all native HID controllers in Scratch Live. Uh, remember with the HID controllers, you don't use the control CDs, uh, the timecode CDs um, in your drive. You just connect your uh, USB cable to the back of the CDJ to your computer, and you control the decks directly in internal mode. So, native hit support for uh, the Pioneer CDJ350 and 850 now in version 2.3. Uh, also new in 2.3 is better through mode indication. Now, a lot of times, a lot of new people, when they first get Scratch Live and they set it up, uh, particularly with the newer hardware, um, it starts in through mode by default, and this confuses a lot of people. So, when you go into through mode now, you're going to see this. The through mode will be flashing. Uh, the deck is going to turn black, and you're going to see the waveform is grayed out. It's not in color. Uh, so this is just a better indication to let you know, hey, you're in through mode. Uh, if you want to play uh, your music in Scratch Live, you know you got to switch out of through mode, and you got to be in absolute relative or internal mode. So when you're playing normal vinyl uh, or normal CDs, remember you got to be in through mode. Uh, so this is a better indicator to let you know now that you're in through mode. Also now in 2.3 is full 64-bit support for the new Macintosh computers, the 2011 MacBook Pros. I've already done a couple videos on this showing you some of the issues with the new 2011 Macs. Uh, the crashing issue was solved with the latest 10.6.8 update, but the TTM57, uh, you know, you still had to boot in 32-bit mode by holding the 3 and 2 keys down uh, when you first start up the computer. Uh, well, you won't have to do that anymore with the new 2.3 updates uh, full 64-bit support however uh, the new Mac operating system OS 10.7 or Lion as it's called uh, Serato are not officially supporting that at this time uh, it does work uh, it's not like Scratch Live doesn't open and it won't run uh, it works you know quote unquote fine for the most part it's just you know a couple issues uh, with some certain things but for the most part it works but just to play it safe you know Serato is not officially supporting it at this time uh, what else is new in 2.3? Um, other than that, just the cue point labels, native hit support for the CDJ850 and 350, through mode indicators, 64-bit uh, support for the new Macs. Uh, you know, that's pretty much it. Mainly just a maintenance release and a lot of bug fixes. So uh, go download 2.3, try it out. Uh, head over to the Serato forums to, uh, you know, check it out.